Welcome back everyone. I'm Stephen Harrell with Tiny House Listings and uh, today I wanted to go over the top five reasons people sell their tiny houses. You'll look, uh, well we've looked over the years on comments on different social media platforms that uh, Tiny House Listings is on and we, the, the question keeps popping up, why are people selling their houses? Isn't the goal to live in a tiny house and uh, enjoy the benefits from living in a tiny house for the long haul? So I thought it would be beneficial to go over the top five reasons why people sell their tiny houses so you can perhaps plan for the future. Uh, when you're making a purchase for your tiny house, you make a wise decision that'll allow you to continue living in a tiny house for the long haul. And a lot of times when people sell their tiny house, it's not always what it seems. It's not just because they're selling a tiny house because it didn't work out for them. So here we go, the top five reasons people sell their tiny houses. Okay, so the first of the top five reasons people sell their tiny houses is their family is expanding. More times than not, a lot of people uh, purchase a tiny house when, when they're single or when they're just a couple with no children. And uh, if you're single and you decide to take on a partner that you live with, um, there's a good chance your tiny house will be able to accommodate that, right? Like uh, most tiny houses can, can fit two people, whether it's just a loft and no downstairs sleeping and uh, the bed can, you know, uh, normally it's a queen size or larger because the lofts tend to be the same width uh, of the tiny house so there's plenty of sleeping room but if you decide you have some young ones on the way uh, and the size of your family increases whether that's one kid or two kids uh, you may find out that the tiny house that you're living in will not accommodate you all may not be practical now that's not to say that there's people not living in a tiny house that are families there are tons tons and tons of families living in tiny houses uh, and the reason that is because they have a tiny house that uh, works well for the family, for family life. Um, but if you have a tiny house that has, let's say, just one loft, no other, not two lofts or no downstairs sleeping or whatever, it's going to be tough to have young children in the home if they don't have their own space to sleep in and things like that. So uh, that's why I said earlier in the video that you may want to plan ahead when you're purchasing a tiny house. Uh, if you think you may be one of those people who are going to be increasing the size of your family. So that's the first of the top five reasons uh, that people sell their tiny house. Their family is getting larger and the tiny house will no longer accommodate them. Just an FYI, this list is not in any particular order. It's just the top five reasons people sell their tiny house. But the second reason that people sell their tiny house is that they can't take it with them. Uh, they own a tiny house now. They've done the hard work of getting it to a place uh, where they can actually live legally, uh, whether it's in someone's backyard, a tiny house community, they purchase the land, however that looks like, and they can't take it with them. They're moving for whatever reason. Uh, it could be that they got married and they have to go live to where their spouse lived. Uh, they could be in the military and getting stationed in a different area. Um, it could be that they have a new job. Could be that they were in the city and now they have to go to the city where there's no place to park a tiny house. Various, various reasons, and there's lots of them. Uh, but the second reason is that people have to, that they can't take their tiny house with them. It's no longer conducive uh, to where they're going to move. The third reason that people sell their tiny house is because they're actually moving on to another tiny house. It's not that they don't love tiny houses, it's just the one that they have now is not working for them for whatever reason. I've seen a lot of people that love tiny houses, but they found that the one they purchased is not mobile enough. They want to hit the road and purchase a van, right? So they decided to sell their house and um, you know move on to a van or vice versa. They live in something very mobile, a bus, van or something like that, and they want to have something with more room and set down like more permanent roots in, in a, whether it's in a tiny house community or whatever. Uh, but I've seen this very, very often where people, the tiny house they have, they like it, but they decided that it's not currently working out for whatever reason it is. They want to sell that tiny house so they can purchase an, purchase or build another tiny house. All right, so the fourth reason that people sell a tiny house is because it's not even actually theirs in the first place. And what I mean by that, let me explain, is that they built the tiny house with the sole intent of selling it, of selling the tiny house before you even move it. And there's a lot of reasons for that, many, many reasons. You, you have tiny house builders that buy and sell tiny houses for people all the time uh, for a living. You have people that have maybe just tried it out once just to see, to get their feet wet, uh, and they need to sell it. There are lots of tons actually of high school uh, programs and university programs that offer shop class and they will sell the tiny house 
um, they'll, they'll build it for people to get construction experience, carpentry experience, plumbing, electrical, and all that, and then they will go off and sell it a lot of times on tiny house listings. And um, so that's the, that's the entire reason they're selling it. It was never meant to be lived in in the first place. Um, I have seen a lot of situations where there's organizations who build a tiny house to sell it just for the exclusive reason of raising money for a nonprofit or for some cause. So that's the fourth reason people are selling the tiny house because it was built to be sold. Okay, so the fifth and not final reason, actually, there's a bonus one after this, but the fifth reason that people sell their tiny house is because unfortunately, tiny house living just did not work out for them, which is the most unfortunate reason. Uh, but a lot of times I'll say that the reason that I can see from a distance, you know, because uh, a lot of these tiny houses that people sell in tiny house listings, we don't get to actually go tour or see, uh, but just from pictures and speaking with people and getting a better understanding why they're selling their tiny house is that they never really downsized correctly. They never shifted their focus or the way they're living currently uh, when they moved into a tiny house. They just downsized. Took all their stuff with them. That's not going to work uh, when you live in a tiny house. You're going to have to make some serious... When you decide to move to a tiny house, you're going to have to make some serious decisions in terms of what you're keeping, what you're not keeping. Uh, if you're living in a tiny house that's full, packed full of stuff and you're tripping over it, you can't find out what's where, there's not enough room, uh, it's just not going to work out for you because it's just too stressful and that defeats the entire purpose of living in a tiny house. Uh, I could get into this on a much broader level uh, or actually a much deeper level in an entirely separate video but when you move into a tiny house you're going to have to shift your focus. I think a lot of times it's good to go on Airbnb or somewhere and rent a tiny house for as long as you can in terms of getting off work and be able to afford what's available and all those and stay in it for a while and just decide like hey is this something I think um, that will work for me because you're gonna have to take that plunge and it's gonna be a major shift a major shift in uh, the way you know life is from day to day so that's the main reason I think that a lot of people don't live in tiny houses another reason uh, that people don't you know tiny house living doesn't work out for them full term there's lots of other reasons but one of them could be uh, they're, they're worried about what their parents think what their friends think the feedback that they get people think they're crazy all of these things right um, so that's another reason, but that's the fifth reason that people live and decide to sell their tiny houses because it just didn't work out for them. Okay, the bonus reason, the sixth reason why people uh, decide to sell their tiny houses because when they purchase it, it was never meant to be lived in for the long term anyway, right? Like, uh, and the, mo the most uh, frequent re uh, thing I see when it comes to this reason is that a lot of people purchase a tiny house, live in it while they're having a much larger or traditional home built. Uh, so they want to be there on site, they're building the house themselves, want to save money and then resell the house uh, later on for a lot of times what they paid for it and sometimes even more depending on where the house is. And another sub reason within this reason <laughs> is that people purchase a tiny house with the, uh, the reason to temporarily rent it out to people uh, or you know their, their mother-in-law sick and for whatever reason perhaps she passes or he or she or whatever um, they have to sell the tiny house because it was again it was purchased with the intent of being very temporary and not meant for the long haul all right so those are the main reasons that people sell their tiny houses the main reason I want to shoot this video is to dispel some of the myths that I've seen out there a lot of people are saying hey so many people are selling their tiny houses why is this is it just not what tiny house living not living up to the hype that it is or whatever but I mean there are some situations where tiny houses do not work out for people but for the most part there's various well there are various various reasons um, and you may ask how do you know all this how do you know why people are selling their tiny houses well, we have sold uh, tiny house listings over the years over 10,000 tiny houses have been sold through our website and our service so that's how we know we take a we have a lot of data we uh, you know query people try to understand get a better idea uh, so that's how we know but if you have a tiny house and you want to sell it go to tinyhouselistings.com and click post a listing and that way you'll be able to uh, sell your tiny house we also have an entire team that sells tiny houses directly for people uh, if you want to purchase a tiny house go to tinyhouselistings.com forward slash five minute and that way once someone from our team will give you a call we'll do a quick five minute consultation figure out where you are where you want and, and help you get to where you want to be in terms of finding a place to park your tiny house financing negotiating a price for you answering all your most burning tiny house questions uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video I'd love to know down below why would you live in a tiny house can you see some pitfalls 
uh, what would your tiny house look like? Just give me your thoughts. Leave them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.